once seen as a symbol of inter-Korean cooperation. The roads connecting the two Koreas were shattered by North Korea on Tuesday. The U.S. also urged the regime to halt its risk-taking actions. Our Kim bo searches searches off. North Korea blew up the roads on its side of the Gyeonggi and Dongae railway line routes on Tuesday. The Gyeonggi line road at 11.59 a.m. and the Dongae line road at 12.01 p.m. The roads were seen as the last symbol of inter-Korean cooperation with the Mount Kumgang tourism project and the Kaesang industrial complex having long been suspended. The south and north were connected by road and rail along the Gyeonggi line that connects Seoul and Pyongyang, while the Dongae line connected the two Koreas on the east coast. The north dismantled the two rail lines earlier this year, leaving just the roads. The explosions took place approximately 10 meters north of the military demarcation line, destroying a 60 to 70 meter section of the Gyeonggi line road and around a 40 meter section of the Dongae line road. The South's Joint Chiefs of Staff said there has been no damage to South Korean forces, as preparations had already been made to stay well clear. But the South Korean military fired a warning message to deter any further action, aiming at the ground within South Korean territory south of the MDL to avoid escalation. The Unification Ministry, too, released a statement calling it an abnormal action. While saying demolition is a clear violation of inter-Korean agreements, it said the act is a repetition of what happened four years ago. This act is reminiscent of North Korea's abrupt destruction of the inter-Korean liaison office four years ago that have been operating for over one year following joint agreements. The ministry added that North Korea is still obliged to repay the loans used to build these roads, as the regime had been given funding worth over 132 million U.S. dollars at the North's request. Washington voiced its concerns, too, with the State Department urging North Korea on Tuesday to stop actions that would increase the risk of conflict and reiterating its calls for Pyongyang to come back to diplomacy. The State Department spokesperson also added that Washington is monitoring the North situation in close coordination with South Korea. With Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell and his South Korean and Japanese counterparts slated together in Seoul on Wednesday, North Korean issues are expected to be on the agenda. Meanwhile, group tours to around the demilitarized zone in Paju, Gyeonggi, the province, were temporarily suspended from Tuesday morning following a request from the South Korean Army. The suspended tourist sites include the Tora Observatory and the Third Infiltration Tunnel, locations where visitors can tour the DMZ area. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.